like boats. You must be a captain. A man with such fine gloves must be a captain. Coal shoveler. Coal shoveler. A very essential occupation, coal shoveler. Shoveler.
do cover them with wool? You need them a hat, scarf, gloves, stockings. You want to knit them something, knit them a brain. Isn't crazy, Theo? Yes, Tessa, he is crazy. Tomorrow he goes to the asylum. The man from the welfare said retarded. That's different. What does he know? They give a test, and from the test they're gonna know what I lived with for 40 years. Test. How do they show in the test what I feel inside when he looks at me and tries to remember who I am? No feeling. Nothing. Like a lump of dough. My own son. Crazy. For 40 years, I don't want to use the word. But you know, Tessa, now when I say it, I feel better. Go on and say it. Crazy. Crazy. Crazy! Crazy! When he was a baby and I held him in my arms, against my body, he would look at me and smile. Remember, dear? He was not crazy then. When he was a baby. Yes, he was such a good baby. What's happened to you? The mind is a very complicated thing, Tessa. It grows as the baby grows. One slip up anywhere. Just one little part and... All the millions of nerves that make up the brain, they fight and struggle to reach each other, to, to make a connection. Maybe one, just one, to reach. It seems so cruel that God should have forgotten one nerve. Tomorrow, he goes to the asylum. Yes, Tessa. Tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. in the nude and singing <laughs> and poor Mrs. Cleo Dockers are grabbing him by the legs trying to get him back in. <laughs> oh, he's a weird one. God love him. He's a freak. Bring in the lamb, Andres. Where you been? Can't you see he was outside? See how nice and red his cheeks are? The fresh air is good for him in the winter, Theo. You sent him out for bed this morning. He's been gone all day. I want to know where he's been. To the river? That's all. That's all I want to know. while it is good and hot. Come.
remember, Tessa, when Andreas was little, how we used to go to the river, to the aquarium down at the battery. Remember all the fish? Even sharks in the big tanks. Remember, Andy? I wonder what ever happened to the aquarium. War came, I had to move. <laughs> Afraid the German bombs would kill the fish. <laughs> going upstairs to watch television with the Artinians. Come up when you feel better. and get something for yourself, Andres. I saved some money for you. $35. And Daddy gave me some. Fifteen. Fifty dollars. You have to have a nice new suit, Andres. Gerard upstairs has a new suit. Donald downstairs has a new suit. And you should have one, too. I was going to give it to you Christmas. But you have to have it now. Tomorrow you go out and get yourself a good warm suit. Okay. Fifty dollars. I 
I'm going upstairs now. Maybe you can find a store open tonight. But if you can't, it'll be all right to spend a few dollars for a good time, Andre. Something for the boss, I like it. He's the type of guy. If you like Thank him, you like him, you don't like him, you like him. That's the kind of a guy he is. Something for the boss. Now, at the end of the day, what do you think he did? He 
Talk to me about God, nigga. Tell me about how God made niggas and degenerate brothers. Ah, brother? <laughs> oh, tell me. The sun will sky above. We don't need your business, Simmerby. <laughs> <gonna stop outside>. <laughs> 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 don't bother with that bum, Andy. You're sick, just like the rest of the characters that come in here. You know, I honestly believe if you took away their booze, they'd start a revolution or strangle their wives or something. So do me a favor and stay away from them, okay? I mean, it's okay to sit quietly and have a few drinks, but just don't let them needle you. They ain't any smarter than you. I said, I don't know why, but I'm Sometimes when I see them laugh at you and take advantage of you, I want to cry. I guess this job's getting to me. Wrapped up in too many problems. You know, there ain't one problem at that bar that I ain't in on. The trouble is I take them home with me. It's getting so that I'm afraid to... Wake up in the morning to see who I felt sorry for last night. You're a funny guy, Andy. But you're a nice guy. You never say anything, but... Sometimes I get the feeling that you know something that nobody else knows. Hey, Mud. Well, I gotta go. Hey, look, Andy. Would you like to meet me after closing? Or we can go to Bigfoot's for some eggs. Just eggs. And we'll talk, okay? You'll have to hang around till four. Okay, okay. I'm forgetting any. Hey, Andy. Andy. Hey, hey, Andy. Hi. Come on over there. Come on. Come on over here. That's a boy. That's a boy. Right over here, Andy. There you go. Hey, hey. Hey, Somerville, move over. Give the man a seat. Yeah, get oh, Hard-working man like Andy here. Been shoveling coal all day, Jandy, eh? <laughs> See, um, what's this Simovich has been saying about you being arrested for indecent exposure? Or start naked on your fire escape, he says he was. <laughs> oh, imagine that. Uh, Bloody fun of fabricating a lie like that, eh? <laughs> oh, if I had your strength, Andy, I'd stab his neck. <laughs> no, uh, there's been legends told about Andy. Do you know that, Somerville? Oh, oh you sure? Why, I've heard tell that during the war days, Andy would fire up the fences of them merchant ships like he was the devil himself stalking the ovens of hell. Ain't that right, Andy, huh? Ain't that right? <laughs> Well, I, uh, I admire your modesty, Andy. All the way round, if you please. Oh, 
to the greatest coal shoveler on God's earth. To the chap. <laughs> hey, if you don't mind. You better put some of that away, Andy. I'm a small man, O'Brien. But my temper's something fierce. So if you value the geographic location of your nose, I thank you to mind your own bloody business. You know the trouble with you, Andy? You got diseased lungs. Yeah, lungs, you know. Them's the balloons in your chest that, that pumps the air in your body. Well, anyhow, yours are black. Well, I, I seen pictures of it in a magazine. You see, Andy, there are two kinds of lungs. There's the pink kind, and that's the healthy lung. And then there's the black kind that's full of all the soot and the filth and the particles of dust that float around in the air. Now, a farmer's got pink lungs. Yours, yours are black. Well, after all, you're a coal shoveler. Uh, and I've seen pictures of it in the magazines. He didn't mean nothing. Only a joke. You're lucky, Andy.
mister. You feeling all right? Hey, mister. Probably dope, buddy. Why not? Oh, well, time's Gotta put bars over there. Looks like a monkey. Well, you know what? Hey, mate. <laughs> it's a great job. Hey, you guys look like you guys. <laughs> Hello, Hello.
I was thinking, Dessam, maybe we should move from here. With Andreas gone, we can afford a little more. Maybe someplace on Long Island with a little garden. Wouldn't it be wonderful to have a garden? The way he wears his socks. You know what that boy cost us? Did you ever figure? I bought some grape today. And there is clothes. You can eat them on the train. By cleaning. Let's. Please, Tess, we could have a better life. This is his home, Theo. This is our home. I worked hard all my life to make it comfortable. I won't live here. Why? To punish ourselves. We've sacrificed enough. We should be punished for what we're doing now. With my dying breath, I will never believe that there is anything wrong with Andre's mind. He needs love. Now you're going to tell me we don't love him. Yes, we love him. But that's not enough. What about the neighbors? Do they love him? The Artinians upstairs, do they love him? The man from the Union who took away his car just because of some stupid fight, did he love him? And all the people who won't give him work, even a broom to sweep the floor, so he can earn a few dollars to feel like a man. Do they love him? It's the world. That's what's wrong here. Everybody's fighting to put a piece of bread in their mouth. They don't have time for Andres. And now we are giving up on him too. Sold him like a piece of junk. Because it costs $3 a week for his milk. And because we are getting old and we're afraid for ourselves. There is nothing wrong with Andre's mind. We are the one who should go to the asylum tomorrow.
What you got in your pocket, pal? Got a jug in there, ain't you, pal? Aren't you gonna share it with your buddies? We're your buddies, ain't we? Gave you the last drop. <laughs> <laughs>
I was so lonely. There aren't any stars tonight. I shone as high as I could, but I couldn't find it. Not one. Your hat. You've lost your hat. Oh, Angie, that beautiful hat. Shame on you. It's a wonder I recognized you. It's just that you look so distinguished when you wore it.
Would you take me home? I don't know. You might get to know me.
open the window before you leave, honey. he likes, we'll visit him every Sunday. Maybe there'll be a furnace there and you can shovel coal. And you can imitate his animals for the others and make them laugh. Maybe that's what God wanted, Tessa. Who knows? If he does a good job, maybe God will make him well like everyone else. Now, go to him, Tessa. Before the neighbors call the police again. Ah! Ah! Here. 
Word goes out, the white suit comes over in the morning like an alley cat. I want to know where he's been. He's been to the river. Oh, river, river. Man don't spend all his life looking at a river. Sometimes I think maybe he's building a bridge. Maybe it wouldn't be such a bad idea. With rocks, we could do it. We charge at all. Be a rich man. I'll collect the quarters. And when people cross, they'll say, nice bridge, Mr. Clear Dockers. I'll say, sure. My son built it. Building another, bigger, to Europe. You can walk there. upstairs on my shoulders. Remember I used to sing? There's a great big man from the south. He's got a great big cigar in his mouth. I know a great big man from the south. And you'd laugh all the way up four flights of stairs. The way big man on the south He's got a great big cigar in his mouth I know great big man from the south Remember Andy? Sure you will. Remember only the good thing. What's all this? What do you think my son is? A garbage can? Eat him up with only it. A wounded Omaris and Falafi for me. came to this country. I wanted to buy a suit. Those days you can get a suit for ten dollars. Nice material. You should see stores in Palacio Street, one next to the other, and the owners stand outside and they yell at you. They tap nickels on the window. You know, to get your attention, they were foxy. Real merchants. But you could buy a quality suit here. Yeah? Same as the big stores. If you know material. Someday I'll take it out to the last street and drink. Big, 
clean like the big white ships on the river. A lot of people there to take care of you. Doctors with shiny buttons on their coats. And the one we visited last Saturday had the picture of the horse on the wall. Remember? Well, anyhow, there are lots of trees there. Doctor showed me a picture and looked very nice. See, Mama and I have gotten old, Andres. We don't have the strength. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Will you look at me and understand? What's in your life? Please look. Me and understand. I'm your father. And I love you. So please forgive me. How else can I tell you? God. Mr. Cleodakis? Mr. Cleodakis? Cleodacus, this is the last time. I know you're home. Mr. Cleodacus? Oh, he's home all right. He woke up the whole bloody neighborhood about ten minutes ago. Thinks he's a rooster or something. You should have seen him a scampering up the fire escape like a bloody monkey. Oh, he's a terror. God love him. Are you from the police? Mr. Cleodacus. Oh, I was going to suggest that you get the key from the janitor. Well, then there's no telling what's going on in there. Why, they might all be murdered for all we know. Uh, Who should I tell them to call? Unpack. Leave it. We're moving, Tessa. Yes, moving. Up down somewhere. To an apartment on the ground floor. Think of it, Tessa. A ground floor apartment uptown. Where there's a little air. A man needs air. To breathe. To grow. And a tree. Somewhere in the city is a ground floor apartment with a tree in front of it. Where the birds sit and sing, and in the autumn the leaves fall. A tree, think of it, Tessa. Isn't it wonderful? Now I got a friend up town, Otsakis. He owns a liquor store. Maybe he needs a help or someone to deliver. So why not Andrea? Who else knows the city better than he does? I'll find that apartment, Tessa. I'll find it. And who knows? Maybe someday the, the two nerves grow together. And Andreas will be well again. Yes, dear. Yes, yes. <laughs>
Mama, no fire stick. Morning. 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 